Tonight, Cassandra McShepard takes us to another piece of Milwaukee's puzzle. You're looking into the Martin Drive neighborhood. I am. You know, I'm working my way through some of the neighborhoods that we call home. And this one is special to me because it's what I call home. Located in the heart of the city's west side, the Martin Drive neighborhood is bordered by Belit Street and Martin Drive. Now, those who live there feel a sense of belonging. I heard from some of the residents that make this neighborhood so special. The mission of the Martin Drive Neighborhood Association is through programs and projects, we will embrace and foster a sense of belonging and common purpose, and it results then in a neighborhood that is beautiful, diverse, secure, and fun for everyone. It's um, a beautiful neighborhood. Our neighborhood has always been very, very diverse. Knowing people on my block, knowing people, you know, on 46th Street, 45th Street. We've been in this neighborhood for 33 years. We're excited about the, the development here. I just love the involvement. If we have a problem, we can fix it. If we have a new idea, we can solve it. And we can um, do it with one another. I can walk down the street and say hello to my neighbors. There's a lot of dog walkers. You get to know people that way. We have Washington Park. I can walk to the park. Love that. We're one of a few businesses on this strip of Leet Street, but we're excited about the future um, and bringing more businesses and restaurants and shops and things like that to the area. The community garden, though, brings people together from diverse backgrounds. Um, we have a little network to uh, relieve one another if, if someone's out of town during a, a drought or a hot spell other people can fill in. We're excited to be neighbors with Pete's Pops. We've been working together for the past three years that we've been here um, and we're really excited to bring in more development to this neighborhood and continue to hire from the neighborhood and we're, we're part of the community already but just excited to see that grow. I feel it's safe. I got to know my neighbors and I love the diversity of the neighborhood. We have lots of different um, ethnic representation, and that's important to me. I think when you have that kind of diversity, there's no uh, minority in a way, and it causes people to want to learn about different races and cultures and be more open to it. A lot of neighbors, including myself, we just don't want to leave. It's been so great to see Bleed Street fill in mm -hmm. with businesses. I know there's a lot, you know, on the west end of Bleed Street, but as it yeah. starts to get east, it's been great to see more businesses pop up there. It has, this neighborhood is so special to me. I refer to it, Steve, as Hotel California, because you check in, but you never, never really leave. leave. <laughs> it's uh, so wonderful. Cassandra McShepard, thank you. As she checks out other neighborhoods and unearths more hidden gems, you can find them all. We've stacked them up for you at MilwaukeeTonight.com.